msconfig startup basics. So what is msconfig? Well, msconfig is a built-in utility, also known as system configuration utility, that allows users to customize their startup applications and services. But what exactly does that all mean? Well, every time you start your computer and load Windows, there's a list of programs and applications that get loaded alongside with Windows. Now, many of these are preloaded by the computer manufacturer, but a lot of them are also installed by the user. Uh, a lot of these are represented by little icons by the clock on the lower right-hand corner of the screen. And these programs will often show splash messages on boot up or pop-up windows, like from AOL, AOL or MSN Messenger. Now, they will take up some processing resources as well as RAM. So by disabling some of these, you will minimize and reduce the startup time to get into Windows to start working. msconfig will allow you to disable some of these programs from starting up and to help improve your startup times and reduce the amount of pops that appear. And as a big plus, free up some resources too. To get into msconfig for Vista or Windows 7, all you need to do is type in msconfig into the search bar of the Start menu. Or if you have Windows XP, you can type in msconfig into run. Once loaded, a window named System Configuration Utility will appear. Inside this window are multiple tabs including General, Startup, Services, and a few others. But right now we are only concerned with Startup tab. After clicking on the Startup tab, we will now see all the programs that get loaded at the start of Windows. At first glances, all the information here can be overwhelming, but if you read the names of the startup items, you can discover what they do. Manufacturer tab tells you who created the program. Command tells you where the program is saved on your hard drive. Location is the full name of the reg registry key stored on your system. Now, all this information is to help you figure out what exactly the, that program is and does. If you have a hard time figuring out what one of them does, leave it alone until you get some more information about it. Some are very critical for your system to work properly. Notebooks in particular will have a lot of starter programs because they rely on them to make the computer work and to make the built-in devices function like the webcam, the touchpad, speakers, power saving modes, and many, many others. With that said, if you do recognize a program that you installed but you don't need to run a startup anymore, then you can click on the box to the left of the name to disable it. Remember, this will only disable it from automatically running on Windows Boot and will not uninstall it. You can always re-enable it later if you need to. After you have finished disabling the programs you don't need, you can press Apply and then OK. A window will appear letting you know that these changes will not come into effect until you reboot. You can reboot at any time, but if you have the time now, you can click on Restart and it will reboot your computer immediately. If Windows boots up okay, then you can keep your changes. However, if you notice some problems, then you can undo the changes and re-enable those programs. Now, if you can't get into Windows, then you might need to roll back your settings or boot into safe modes to re-enable it. Now, good luck. And remember, be careful when modifying anything in MS config, because you can cause some serious problems later down if you disable the wrong things.